You're in the Grooveyard. We're on location with a band of friends, a celebration of the life and music of Irishman Rory Gallagher. And with us right now is Ted McKenna. Ted, welcome to the nation's capital. It's very nice to be here. Yes. Very nice to see you. Last night, you were dynamite, and I know that Rory would be very proud. I said this to Jerry. 1970, Jimmy did The Isle of Wight. Mm -hmm. Taste played. He had a band of gypsies. 2018, Rory has a band of friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could say that. Yeah, yeah. Jerry, like that, last night when you stepped on that stage, you did Messing with a Kid. Mm -hmm. I have Junior Wells up on our YouTube. Mm -hmm. I had the honor of talking to him right here in this room. Right, okay. That's interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, well, we always used to do that song with, with Rory. Uh, we've only just done it a couple of times with a band of friends before so this is uh, we're, we're starting to do it coincidentally um when i was 17 and still at school i played with taste i supported taste the original taste <clears throat> and uh, what's going on uh yeah when they were uh, no this is um, before that this really? is really this is the original band in uh, 1967 wow and uh, before that i'd actually seen rory in uh he was in a, a an Irish show band, and they played in my hometown. So I didn't know he was Rory Gallagher, or Rory Gallagher. Um, and uh, I saw the band because they were they were yeah they were quite regular uh, the uh, the school youth club dance. Um, but then in my first band when I was seventeen, we supported the uh, the very first taste the first time he came over, and we supported him in, in Edinburgh. That band was as good as Led Zeppelin. When they started, and I saw Zeppelin when they started, they sucked. They couldn't even do Train Kept a Rolling. I walked up and talked to Plant. He played the Wheaton Youth Center here. You know, they just flipped over from the New Yardbirds. But Taste, they had that certain something. You had it last night. I didn't know if I was watching Metallica or listening to Cream. I couldn't tell. I mean, it was so good. I told you that when I was on HMC, we opted to play Bullfrog Blues by Rory instead of playing it by Can't Heat every once right, in a while. Right, right. But cultural diversity has always been at the forefront with Rory Gallagher, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, uh, my experience of Rory was uh, was actually limited until uh, I saw even after even when I played with him, to be honest, because I didn't know uh, I really wasn't aware of the breadth and depth of material that he'd done. But when I met Ronnie Drew uh, and various other people over the years, you know, Ronnie Drew from the the, um, the Dubliners. Um, and how much of a fan he was and a few other people that had uh, experienced the, the the light and shade of Rory's work. I mean, eventually I caught up with a lot of it because you got to remember I was on the road from 1966 um, with my bands and the sensational Alex Harvey band that was over here. Coincidentally, I my band in 1967 supported Robert Plant and the Band of Joy and that's... Bonham taught me how to... showed me how to spin my sticks. So if you see me doing that, that's because... Uh, he taught me how to do that. <laughs> Very interesting, Ted, because you don't always see what's the truth on Wikipedia or in the encyclopedia. You have quite a heritage as a musician. Mm -hmm. You're Scottish, like Jack Bruce. I ran many an errand for Jack back in the day. Played with Jack as well, yeah. I did. I did. A, I did. A, I was very pleased to have worked with both Jack and Eric at different points. Just. They came up and played uh, when when I was working with Womack and Womack, strangely enough, yeah. and uh, uh, Eric Clapton came up and played a couple of tunes with us. And the other time was uh, when Jack, because I've been a fan of Cream, most of us were huge Cream. I saw them in 1967, being supported by Long John Baldry with Elton John playing oh keyboards, Bluesology. You should have been here when Mick Fleetwood had his club open. I lived there, yeah. and we rocked. We rocked. Yeah. But I got to say something, ladies and gentlemen. This gentleman, Mr. McKenna, quite a history. Let's put it like this. Cheech and Chong had nothing on Alex Harvey because he was framed also. <laughs> and Alex Harvey uh, theatrics before Peter Gabriel. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, of course. Yeah, we, uh, it was street theater. That's what street it was. Street theater. Yeah, and uh, we did a lot of things long before other people were doing them, and as far as that, uh, we mixed uh, rock and roll with uh, with uh, you know live performance, a very basic live performance, and I think that a lot of that came from Alex's time uh, when he was a uh, 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 the guitar player in the in Hair, the musical Hair, 
and he observed the the way that the, you know he directed the set. We that we directed it like a like a like a stage performance. So people true. always were focused on what was going on on stage. You know, Ted McKenna is our guest in the Groove Yard. You're going to spin a few tunes, your favorite Rory Gallagher songs before you split. But what's ahead for you in 2018, and where can we get your music? Uh, right. Well, we've got. Uh, you probably get. You can get the albums that we've done up until now on the DVD on um, the band of friends dot eu that's our uh, website you can order that on there we've uh, we've got two albums at the moment uh, that are out there one's uh, half and half we've got a live album and we've got uh, what we've got uh, we just recorded a year or so ago and well, who knows, we might even do something with Davey, that would be nice. Yeah. yeah, the new CD that you guys have out, we'll have it available at Blue Groove Sounds here in Arlington, 5852 North Washington Boulevard in Arlington. We also have a couple of Alex Harvey LPs there. Mm -hmm. Get down there and get them while well, they're there. I've just recorded an album with Michael Schenker. In fact, I've just been on the road for a month with Michael Schenker here. And uh, we've done an album and it uh, seems to be getting quite a good reception. So for the rest of the year, I'll be doing a mixture of Michael Schenker Group and the Michael Schenker Fest and Band of Friends. So I'll be back here again, hopefully in the near future. Ted McKenna is with us. You're in the Groove Yard. I'm Tom Grooms. Record Store Day is coming up April the 21st. And WETA, the classical music station, will be at Blue Groove Sounds. Linda Carducci, the morning host, will be there. Record Store Day, are you excited? Do we have anything we can find of yours that's kind of rare this time? Oh, well, Tear Gas album was the first album I did. Uh, Tear Gas? Which became the sensational Alex Harvey band. There's plenty of those. Then Greg Lake and Gary Moore, when I worked with them, um, we did a live, we toured over here, we did a, there's a, there's a, there's a King Biscuit, it was on King Biscuit, um, live performance of that band as well. Uh, a few Michael Schenker albums, Assault Attack, which was the the musician's favourite, I hear, the one that we did um, with uh, Graham Bonnet. I don't know, I'm getting old now, I can't remember all this oh, stuff. Oh, that's like okay. That. <laughs> Next time you come to the nation's capital, can you pop by the record store maybe oh, and sign a few be, records? That would be very nice, yes, I'd love to do that, yeah, yeah. Okay. Universal have re-released uh, re a lot of stuff because they have the catalogue now, Rory's catalogue, so... Everything's been repackaged and put out there again. So that hopefully a new generation is going to catch up with it, you know. Davey's in the band. Davey Knowles, what's your impression as a guitarist? Uh, he's uh, a one-off, definitely a one-off. He's going, he really is going to go places. He's a wonderful player, lo lovely, beautiful, sensitive, as well as being a real in-your-face rocker as well. So he's, he's, he's going to be, well, you know, you've got to watch out for this guy, Davey Knowles. I'll tell you that for nothing. Ted, we'll see you next time you get okay. to the nation's capital. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And God bless Rory Gallagher.